Yo guys, Insane Gamer 52 here, and today I'm going to show you an easy way to finish the Good Prep Tier 5 Legion mission in DMZ. Alright, so to complete this mission, you have to deliver 90 gas masks to any dumpster dead drop and extract 100 radiation blockers. These sound like very daunting objectives, but there are a couple ways to make both of these much easier. Alright, let's start off with the radiation blockers. This one is going to take a lot longer since you have to exfil with them and can only hold a maximum of 9 in your inventory. It goes without saying that getting a bigger backpack will definitely be a big help. Okay, so the most common way to find radiation blockers is in these medicine cabinets and first aid tents. There should be a medicine cabinet in every bathroom, but there is a lot faster way to find them. Hospitals are guaranteed to have 7 medicine cabinets each and are the best way to find radiation blockers, self-revives, revive pistols, and even gas masks. This is another reason I suggest starting with the radiation blockers since you can find a good amount of free gas masks too. For those who don't know, there are 6 hospitals scattered around the map. You can tell which buildings are hospitals since they look like an L with a nub on the outside and have a small rectangular building right next to them. The first one is up here right next to the road between Rohan Oil and Al Safwa Quarry. The second one is on the south side of Syed City right below the Al Syed Shopping Center. The third one is on the southwest side of Sawa Village, right next to the Marooned Ship. The fourth one is right here to the east of Al Shireen Pass, right next to the river. The fifth one is to the east of Mawazem Marshlands, on the other side of the river. And the sixth one is on the south side of Al Mazra City, right next to the downtown post office. When you get to a hospital, go inside this door and go up the stairs. Take a left and the first medicine cabinet will be on this wall in the hallway. Then go through the doorway at the end of the hall, and the second one will be on this wall to your left. The third one is just to the right of that next to this window. And the fourth one is across the room next to these shelves. Make sure to look on all the tables around since there's a good chance to find radiation blockers there too. Going into the next room, the fifth cabinet is on this wall to your left. Check the beds in here, then go back out to the hallway and jump out this window. Go across the parking lot and into the small rectangular building, and the sixth one will be on this wall to your left. Continue to the next room, and the 7th medicine cabinet will be on this wall to your right. It is worth noting that your teammates can also extract radiation blockers to help with your mission too. When you've been to a couple hospitals and feel like you have a good amount of radiation blockers, head to the nearest exfil to secure your mission progress. Alright, now let's talk about gas masks. The nice thing about this task is that it doesn't matter which dead drop you put them into. For those who don't know, there are 6 different dead drop locations all around the map. The first one is up here off the side of the road between Rohan Oil and Al Safwa Quarry, right next to the first hospital. The second one is down here in Syed City, right up against the east side of the Al Syed Shopping Center. The third one is next to this building to the northeast of the Al Saman Cemetery. The fourth one is in this junkyard to the southeast of Al Shireen Pass. The fifth one is behind this gas station right next to the bridge on the northwest side of Mawazem Marshlands. And the sixth one is in this alleyway above the crisscross bridge on the southwest side of Al Mazra City. Okay, now that you know where all the possible dead drops are, you need to get a bunch of gas masks. There are two easy ways to get a lot of gas masks really quickly. The first is to rack up a ton of cash and go get them from buy stations. The fastest way to get a large amount of money is to do a destroy supplies contract. This will mark all the nearby safes on the map. Safes usually give you lots of money with chances for killstreaks and other valuable items that you can sell. Each gas mask costs $2,000, so if you fill a large backpack plus your actual gas mask slot, you will need $20,000. It helps if you get at least forty dollars or $60,000 though, so you can make multiple trips without having to detour to get more cash. Once you are happy with the money that you have, find a buy station that's close to a dead drop. Since all 6 of the dead drops are spread out pretty evenly around the map, you should be able to find one that is within a couple hundred meters of a buy station. Drive there and fill up your inventory, then immediately head to the dead drop and deposit them. The second way to get a lot of gas masks really quickly is by going into the radiation zone. This one is going to be a little more dangerous and there are going to be a limited amount of gas masks in here, but it will be quicker and it won't cost you anything. Most of the enemies in here are wearing gas masks and will drop them when killed. There are going to be a limited amount of enemies in here, but you won't have to get any money or detour to a buy station. You'll end up using gas masks while in the radiation, so try to keep an eye on the durability and keep swapping them out before they break. The gas masks don't have to be full to count towards the mission progress, so you could have a bunch at 1% durability and they would still count. 
Once you deposit 90 gas masks into dumpster dead drops and extract 100 radiation blockers, you should complete the mission and be good to go. If you found this guide helpful, let me know by dropping a thumbs up. And feel free to subscribe for more in-depth guides in the future.